In this problem, I'll talk about the conservation of energy from elastic potential energy to gravitational potential energy. So we have a spring mass system here. A mass is connected to a spring. Oh, let's talk about here. A mass is connected to a spring and this one is compressed. And when this mass is released or when the spring is released, what will happen this mass will move because this one is compressed against the spring. So this one will move and start sliding down this plane here or this ramp here. The question is how high this mass will move up on this inclined plane. So the only thing you need to know is the conservation of energy. Here all the energy is in the form of elastic potential energy. And here, all the potential energy will be in the form of gravitational potential energy. Remember, the total energy at any point, at any point is exactly the same. And here, we are assuming there is no friction, uh, fr fr uh, friction between the block and this inclined plane or here. There's no friction at all. We're ignoring the, the friction. So if the friction force is ignored, then the total energy of the system remains the constant. That means the, there is only the conservation of energy. The energy, the elastic potential energy will change into the gravitational potential energy. Uh, at this point, again, as I mentioned, it is the total elastic potential energy here. When you release, the elastic potential energy is now changing into the kinetic energy. In the kinetic energy and the, and the kinetic energy will now change into the the gravitational potential energy at the maximum height it will have only the gravitational potential energy in between if, if the block is in between then it has both kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy but as you are interested in finding out the maximum height when it reaches to the maximum height, it has only the, the gravitational potential energy. I need to make one minor correction. This has to be gravitational potential. Gravitational potential energy. So now let's solve the problem now. So when the spring was compressed, then it has the only uh, elastic potential energy. When it reaches to the maximum height, it has the only gravitational potential energy. So what is the formula for the elastic potential energy? It is half k x squared. K is a spring constant and x is the compression in the spring. How much you compress the spring is the, the x value here or the displacement. The mass, the gravitational potential energy is mgs. The m is the mass, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the height. So we solve for h, which is kx squared over 2m2mg. Two m, two m All the values are given now. The spring constant is given, which is 100 newton per meter. X value, the spring, the by how much you compress is given that is 20 centimeter and we need to change this 20 centimeter to meter keep in mind that everything has to be in the SI units which is 0.2 2 the mass of the block is also given which is 100 gram mass again you need to change this into SI system so the mass is now 100 gram which is 0.1 kilogram G is 9.8 so what you get here is 10.2 meter. So that means this block will move up along the inclined plane by 10.2 meter. And I'll just let you know that if we ignore the friction force and if we ignore any other forces, then it doesn't matter the slope. Even if this one, if this is this way, then uh, still it will go 10.2 meter. If it is at a, small, a smaller angle, still it will go to 10.2 meter, okay? So it doesn't depend literally upon the, 
the angle of inclination. Of course, if it is vertical, it, it won't work. And that's a separate topic. But in this case, uh, it doesn't matter the angle of inclination. As far as we ignore the friction and force. So this is it for this elastic potential energy to gravitational potential energy or the energy conservation problem. Any questions, please write down your questions in the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe.